Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be trying to make a theoretical kayak of sorts. It's not going to look like a normal kayak, but that's kind of the idea. I want it to be able to be 3D printed if I ever really wanted it to. I really want to just see how much it would end up costing, and as a result, we need a 3D model. So let's go hop inside a blender and get to it. Okay, so here we are inside of Blender. As you can see, it's actually not that complicated. All I started out doing was finding out some references. I looked up a boat, and then I decided to just create an image that I can import into Blender using ChatGP, and I got this nice little image. Afterwards, I just quickly got to modeling, and then eventually came up with this, this little speedboat type thing. <laughs> I didn't really like it. it was, I thought it was okay though. So I kept the base model and then I kind of just edited it on top before I created this little area where you would be able to lay down and actually be covered from the sun. Right now that wouldn't really do any good, but normally I thought that would be kind of cool. So yeah, that was kind of what I ended up creating in a short amount of time. After that, I ended up uh, spending a lot of time making the textures. I didn't really record it, so zoom ahead and this is what it looked like. Overall, I actually think it looks pretty good. So yeah, as a little concept design, I actually think this is pretty good. And to see this actually on the river, I think would be really cool. People would probably look at it really weird, like what in the world did you just do? Especially if it was rainbow colored, <laughs> like that one that someone created in 2014. Ironically, I also found, found a comment when I was doing this about them saying that these boat designs would be everywhere. Yeah, no, that is not the case. He said five years. It is now actually nearly 10 years. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, they're definitely not everywhere. This is one of the more niche things to be doing with 3D printers. Anyways, once I designed it, I needed to actually see if I could get it sliced on the printer. So the printer I'm gonna be, would be using, theoretically, of course, is the Prusa XL. So with the Prusa XL, each part could not be longer than 35 centimeters cubed in any direction. So I ended up just getting some blocks, cutting them, and cut each section into increments that I felt would be pretty good if I would actually print it. And then I figured I would just glue it together. I'm not entirely sure by that. Potentially it would be better to actually add knobs and inserts. But in the meantime, I figured I would just put it on the slicer and actually slice every piece together and see how much it would end up costing. Once I did that, I've got a total cost of around $350 because it would use 27.7 rolls. So that 350 was assuming I was using $12 rolls, in which case it would be actually a little less. But if I was using $20 rolls, it'd be more like 550. So yeah, there was quite a big difference in price that it would actually end up costing. And ironically, you could buy a new kayak for cheaper than that. So there's really not any point to doing this besides a fun journey on making your kayak. And that's also not including the screws that you would potentially need because that was how the one guy did it. Or you would have to get some lubricant or something to fill in the gap so that you're not actually going to be leaking. And you probably want spray paint if you want to actually paint it or do anything like that. So yeah, it's really not cheaper than actually buying a new kayak. You could theoretically also replace parts if it ever broke, but that would probably be a pain depending on how you actually assembled it. So yeah, that was the experience with this little 3D printed kayak. I actually think it's a cool little model. If anyone really wants to try printing it, just email me and I'll be happy to send the files. I'd love to see a video or of someone actually creating it because while well, I'd love to do it myself, 500 is probably a little too much unless I get sponsored or something of the sorts. So anyways, now that we have the 3D model of the kayak, let's see what it would look like with me actually on the river. But first we gotta go to the river. Let's, how do we zoom in? We just... Hey everyone, welcome. So I guess it's not really a river, it's more of a lake, but we're gonna do it here. Hopefully if this goes right, we'll align me properly, we'll come a little closer, and what we'll do is we'll take me standing right here, going, look at this river or lake, yeah, whatever, and then we'll all of a sudden transport over there, and I'll be on top of a kayak 
kind of shaking going, we'll see how well this works because ideally I just want the lighting so we're just gonna crop me out and put me on that shot. Well, there we have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you thought this little boat project was kind of fun. Again, if you want to print it, let me know and I'll try and get you the files. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Cool drone shots. Actually, never mind. This weekly extra is going to be about a cave. Okay, look at the rock chuck. There's a rock chuck in here. There's copper. She looks evil, and you can't see a thing, but this cave is huge! Echo! Yeah, no, it's absurd. I wish I had more than just a phone light. It's so hard to see. I can't believe there's a rock chuck. I thought it was a rat. something when I'm really close.